This is a 2017 Ram 2500 with the OEM tow package. It's got the system where your fifth wheel, whatever package you go with, will drop down into the OEM hose, two on each side. Pretty neat system. In this video, we're going to change the fuel filter that transfer flow puts under the cover there. We'll pop that cover off and film it. We're going to go back with what they recommend is a WIC 33270. On the micron size on the filtering capacity of that filter is a 140 micron, which is a pretty large filtering screen as far as fuel filters go. We'll get it out and cut it in half and we'll take a look at what the screen looks like. This is kind of held in with Velcro, if I remember right. It's been a while since I've had it off. Yeah. I'm gonna get him back out of the way up here, so I'm opening him up pretty large. Another way to do that would might be to cut that zip tie and pull off the quick connect off the fuel pump. Cute little fuel pump, ain't it? I think it's gonna be pretty easy. suck air so we're not going to have a leak. That's good. Very carefully. Don't damage your hose. It's coming right out. Oh, don't like that. That's not good. Okay, I spilled some anyway. It'll clean up. It's a Wix, but it's made in China. But it's all metal. I think that's what's important on an external fuel tank. Or like one inside the bed of your truck. Okay, we have an arrow where the flow is. The pump's pulling it. She's flowing that way. I think we'll put him in this one first. Nice snug fit. I bought two hex drivers with me. Quarter inch and five sixteenths. It's amazing. It's neither one of them. Let's be metric. Let's go inside and cut that filter in half and just kind of get an idea what that 140 mesh screen looks like. You can see the epoxy, how the screen's epoxy there. Looks like it's pretty well built, from what I can see. Just a very fine mesh screen. Got here in the sunlight. And I want to go in there and I'm going to pull out a piece with a pair of pliers just to show you what, get a closer look. Hang tight. Went ahead and yanked it out with a pair of pliers. I'm hoping the size of the screen, the mesh shows up. They call it 140 micron. It's pretty fine mesh. So we're going to keep the big stuff, any grit, grime, any coarse stuff that gets into the fuel filler cap, you're going to keep it in the tank, or the filter is going to actually catch a lot of it. And from there, when it leaves this, when this fuel pump carries it on, all this fuel pump is doing is transferring it to the factory tank, the 31 gallon tank. And then as it leaves the 31 gallon tank, it goes through a fuel filter. This is OEM setup. It goes through the fuel filter combination water filter directly under this fuel tank. And then from there, it makes its way up to the engine. And right next to the back on the right side of the Cummins engine, you have a two-stage fuel filter. And on the final stage of that filter, it gets down to three microns. Now just think about that. A human hair is 50 microns in diameter, thereabouts. So in actuality, a human hair or two can go through this fuel filter. It's not going to hurt a thing. The water separator will probably catch it in that fuel filter. But if it makes it to the final stage, it's stopping everything from 3 microns and bigger. That's a pretty impressive fuel filtering system if you ask me. But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. And I thank you for watching and travel safe out there.